Hello and welcome to this TechSec version 0 0.3 uh, little demo video. So I'm not going to go through any details of how to use TechSec in this video. I'm just going to give you a little demo about uh, the kinds of things that TechSec can do. Uh, TechSec stands for Technical Section and it allows you to create uh, technical sections through your 3D Blender geometry. And when I say technical section, I mean a section which has um, specified line weights and line colors, specified patterns and hatching. Um, so it can be considered useful primarily at the moment for architectural sections, but could be used for any kind of um, engineering section as well. So uh, TechSec has three modes, scaled, SVG and free. I'm going to talk about scaled and free here. And I have in the scene uh, a pretty simple little shed model and I have a plane that runs through it. So each of the objects within this shed model, within the TechSec object settings has been set to cuttable and there are different options for hatch and line type and line color etc etc and I have here a plane that bisects that uh, 3D model and this has been set to a section so if I click scaled visualization we'll see now that I make a cut through that 3D geometry with uh, coloration patterns and line weights associated with each object being presented as a sort of PNG image which is mapped to this sectional plane. Um, this is interactive so we can move this plane around and put our section wherever we wish. We can rotate that. So you can rotate and move this sectional plane as you desire. Uh, don't scale it because scaling is dealt with by for example page size so we can specify different page sizes here uh, I've got a0 up to a4 at the moment um, we can change from landscape to portrait we might need to just update the section when we change some of these options and I can change the scale as well uh, when I'm kind of going to come back to a3 landscape um, we've got some options here for setting camera for doing rendered backgrounds we can create a legend so this will now relate all of these um, fills and hatch patterns to some text description that we've given um, I can create a template which just gives some details about the um, section that we're creating um, important option here is DPI so I've got it on quite a low DPI at the moment so as this is a PNG image which has been mapped to this sectional plane it's all a bit uh, aliased but I can up my DPI if I want and clean that up um, but with a higher DPI manipulations get a bit slower so I'm just going to keep it at 50 for now um, we can specify different options for the objects while we're doing a sectional cut. So I can change that cross fill to a triple line fill, for example. Um, and I can scale that fill up and I can rotate it if I want. So uh, yeah, a lot of options for creating different kinds of hatch, fill, line weight and line color, etc. Um, so that's the basics of scaled mode. I'm just going to talk briefly as well about free mode. free mode. Free mode does a similar kind of thing, but it allows us a bit more flexibility about the nature of the um, sectional geometry. So I'm going to turn off that section and I'm going to turn on this section. So you can see here this um, sectional geometry has a kink in it and if I now freely visualize I can now 
get a more complex sectional cut through my geometry. And this mode is intended purely for visualization. So there's no, this isn't meant for scaled printed output. So although we have a scale here that works in terms of blender units, um, just to give us uh, an option about the, the resolution of the images being subjected or applied to this plane. Um, we have no page size here. Um, so this is purely for visualization within Blender. And just as in scaled mode, we can render this out if we want in cycles, uh, either in the viewport or from the perspective of a camera view. Um, and again, this um, plane is also interactive. Um, and with free mode, because we're not really concerned about page dimensions, then we can rotate this and we can move it. But we can also, if we want, scale it. So uh, that's, yeah, just a very quick introduction into the kinds of things TechSet can do. Um, so I hope that's clear as an introduction. And thanks for watching.